Well, they will make the decision today, the SBA will, as to whether or not Berkeley County will get the $25 million in requested funds that they have put in. And uh, as Ron Stevens, the superintendent, identified last week, and you hear in our open, that uh, money hopefully would go to two schools that they would be building in Berkeley County. Jackie Long, who's been through this a couple of times, and she's the vice president of the Board of Education, currently joins us via telephone. Jackie, good morning to you. Good morning, Rob. Nice to be here. It's great to have you. Uh, Gilstrap needs somebody to take the heat off of him for a little while. Yeah. You said I sound all bah humbug. I am not bah humbug. <laughs> Look at him yeah. going after Jackie Long now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I did not say that. Damon did. Well, <laughs> you, yeah. you, you share the school board position, so one speaks for all of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just throw me under the bus with him. So. Yeah. Bill didn't help you at all, yeah, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, well, I was Jackie, hoping I'm here for you. I was hoping you'd come on and be able to say something nice about John, but in hindsight, I'm not sure you, have a, you can do that. <laughs> This, it's a low, it's lonely here under the bus. So you know, the, the more the more company we can have, the better. Oh my goodness! I did. St- I told in my comments that I was actually starting to feel sorry for you. Not now, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not now. Not now. That really good. You That's picked good. a fight with the wrong woman, Gilstrap. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. You, you don't back Jackie into a corner. <laughs> Ask anybody; I can't they'll tell wait you. To be on again in person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you bring food, whatever. You, don't don't tamper with the stuff you give to me just the stuff that you give to gilstrap remember i had nothing to do with this jackie just but, keep that in mind but whatever you do jackie do not ask for a free signed book yes i definitely i won't do that yeah not even if you're on your deathbed and say this is the one thing in life i won't and go to john gilstrap he'll just look at you and sneer they're long books if you're on your deathbed what are the chances <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> that short story right out of Harper's Ferry. That's who you want to go to. <laughs> John Michael I was Cummings. That was a good stocking stuffer, but not now. <laughs> not now. You just lost a sale, Gilstrap. <laughs> Mercy. Uh, Jackie, let's talk about this SBA process. You've been through this before. Did you once serve on the SBA? No, I did not. Okay. No. Um, of, of course, you know. Sandy Hamilton's on there now from this area, and yes. Connie Perry was on there for me, for years from um, Morgan County. So was, we always had some kind of representation for this area. Right. Um, so. so tell me about the process of submitting to them, and, and in the past when it's been successful, what do you think has been the key ingredient? I think in the past when it has been successful is, um, uh, you know, Superintendent Manny Arvon was um, – a, a a good um, source of representation for our area for SBA projects and and Dr. Queen they both presented um, you know the package as it was needed and um, you know knowing the players you, and knowing the people that uh, are involved in the SBA and uh, how they feel about this area and making them aware of um, this area and and you know Manny grew up in Boone County so he knows that area too but uh getting back to where we are now Ron Stevens did an excellent job presenting our package to the SBA the other day so I was very pleased how's the SBA constituted are there uh, government appointees there's so many from each region I know Sandy's on but what's the mechanism for getting on the SBA it's my understanding that the governor appoints those the governor or the legislature appoints those positions uh, for the SBA. So, is there a region? Um, is there a regional criteria? Uh, I don't know that. Mm-hmm. I don't know that at all. How many members uh, are there? I, I would hope there is. Uh, it seems to be part of the makeup of that. How board. many? How many members are there of the SBA? It looked like there were about ten members on the SBA. All right. So uh, as Berkeley County makes uh, made its pitch, uh, the pitch was for the twenty five million dollars. And and Ron identified a couple of schools that the county would like to have some funding to help build. What would would the total cost of those schools be, Jackie? Do you know that figure? Those two schools? um, Well, the new school in um, uh, the Falling Waters area would would be anywhere from twenty five million or above. just for the one you know, school. We, yeah, right. I mean it's costly to build a school now. It's over four hundred dollars a square foot. What um, was it before COVID? Do you recall? 
Well, it was in the threes and down in the twos. I remember actually when it was $65 a square foot. So that tells you how old I am. But we won't go into that. Um, Gilstrap will later, but we won't. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I noticed that the Brenda Lee song came on before I came on, and um, she's in her 80s, so I'll, I'll try to ignore that. But She's not 80 yet. No, so not she's yet. 79, Jackie. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not either, so. I, for the record, um, I do not know your age. No, well, that's good. <laughs> and age isn't a factor, so. But it is in our school buildings, and, mm -hmm. um, good you know, we we presented that also to the SBA, um, how many buildings we have that are aging and how many that are over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. And by 2030, how many more will be 100 years old? And, and we also presented the fact that those schools are well kept and that takes funding. So um, I, I think the presentation was good. It, it only lasted you couldn't go over 10 minutes and you had to get a lot in those 10 minutes, but they also had, they also saw uh, Superintendent Stevens' PowerPoint and they had a copy, uh, in-depth copy of our needs. So uh, I'm very hopeful, uh, but we also had 28 other counties that are very hopeful that went throughout the day to present their needs. So now, do any of them have a, a list as big as $25 million, Jackie? Oh, no, nowhere near that um, because they're smaller counties. I, I talked to a superintendent the night before, and his once were $4 million. So, And that was a lot to them because they only had 1,800 students. Um, so, so, you know, for the SBA to give us our, our entire $25 million, um, it seems like a lot. But when you're dealing with our area, it's, um, it, it's not a lot, but we're very – we would be thrilled if we got the $25 million, so how much very money, hopeful. How much money the, will they be distributing this year, Jackie, do you know? Uh, they said anywhere from $80 million to $120 million, So, and that's a big difference in between, but uh, I'd say closer to the $120 million. But, you know, when you have 18 counties vying for that money, um, it doesn't take long for it to go fast. Is it an all-or-nothing award? Could it could it come back as eleven million or is it twenty five or nothing? Oh yeah, it could come back to less. And how? What yeah. was the process by which these schools, when we have so many schools that are aging, there had to be a process to decide twenty five million dollars split in some manner between these two locations, but not those other locations. How was that decided? Well, I think we just took the uh, we determined the needs, and you know our overall. Um, CEFP for the next 10 years with uh, our bond would have been $350 million. So, you, you know, it's not difficult to determine the needs in Berkeley County. Um, and, and in both of those areas, they're growing areas, and uh, the, the Mountain Ridge area is in need, and definitely the Spring Mills area. So, and we never want to slight any area. I, I know um, the schools in town, they, they all could use um something but uh at the moment you have to pick where you think the need is for the most and go for it and then the next go round um try to get some more there's a common perception the eastern panhandle is is not well loved in charleston in general when the legislature meets um do you find that to be the case here do you, are you concerned that the eastern panhandle requests while being both large, larger than than the other counties, is there sort of a prejudice against Eastern Panhandle when it comes time to assign these kinds of funds? Um, I think that the, my clock's going to go off, so I'm, don't let it bother you. I can't stop it. So, but I, I think the Eastern Panhandle is is more understood now than ever, and that's because of the delegation that we have from this area being in con, in control. Um, it's helped us greatly because in the past, um, I and, and this, this is going to sound a little mean, but in the past they just considered us whiners. And I think until a couple years ago, when the legislature had their interims interims here and saw the growth, I think they were um, astounded by all the townhomes, uh, the developments. Um, you know, when you when you tell them how many students you have, 
uh, that makeup, we have 19,931 students right at the moment, and that could encompass 10 counties in the state or not, if not more for student populations. So I think um, the, the legislature gets all that. But once again, when you're talking about locality pay or something like that, uh, I spoke to someone from uh, Wetzel County and um, they said, well, you know, we don't want your staff having that um, if ours can't. So that's the mentality of that. Uh, Jackie, I, uh, there are 11 members on the uh, uh, school building authority, uh, which I did not know until I looked it up. Uh, well, I, I knew there were about 10. I wasn't yeah, sure there okay. were 11. The, uh, uh, there's, is there a process of pre-screening, or does Berkeley County and the other uh, school districts have one shot in front of the SBA, or have they been in front of a, a committee prior to that? Um, well, this was our second shot for the SBA because, you know, we, we got some funding before. We got no. $25 million before, so this was our second time no, I'm uh, presenting. I'm, but I'm talking a, about a this, year, this year, this year, this year, this uh, year. They uh, is just one time for this current year, only one presentation, or have you been before a subcommittee prior to this? Uh, this was a one time. One time, okay. If you don't, and get, of course, Ron Stevens can tell you more about yeah, that. Yeah. But um, if you don't get the funding for these projects this year, can you go back next year with the same projects? Yeah, sure, sure. You mentioned one hundred, and, and, okay. and add to your list. Okay, depends you, on the, the, the. It depends on the. You know, the, you have to look at how much money the SBA has to offer, mm-hmm. um, and and you know determine your needs on that because you can't go in there with a huge wish list and think you're going to get $60 million of 120 or $80 million of 120. Um, Is 25 million about the most that uh, anybody would ask for, Jackie? Right now, I would say with the, the amount of money. I mean, we've asked for more and got it mm-hmm. uh, in the in past years. Did you get anything last year? Uh, we got we got twenty five million when our uh, added to our bond. You know the bond call was one hundred twenty four million. The SBA gave us twenty five million, which made it made our uh, uh, bond the overall bond one hundred fifty million. And then if we if we would be fortunate enough to get the other twenty five million, um, that will definitely help with our building projects. When you get that grant, that award of $25 million like last year and maybe this year too, do you then have to show specific receipts that you have to turn to that committee to show, yeah, we did put a roof on this building, yes, we did construct this uh, building over here? Or do they give you the uh, money and you do with it what you want? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, definitely, I don't think they ask. I've never known them to ask for receipts, but you, you know, you, you better spend uh, pretty much the way your wants were, or when you go back the next time, mm-hmm. um, you know that that would play a not a very uh, favorable part in you receiving additional money. You mentioned one hundred year old schools in in Berkeley County. Is that a common age for schools around the state in other counties? I think many counties have uh, aged schools, uh, but. In other counties, you know, they've closed those schools down because they've had to consolidate because they've lost student population. Mm-hmm. Whereas in this area, you know, we just keep using our schools. And and as I said, they're, you know, they're 100 years old. But, I mean, I look at Marlowe. I look at Winchester Avenue. They're, um, they're very well kept up to date. And, you know, I'm proud of the, the way we have done that. If it costs $25 million, give or take, to build – uh, an elementary school or an intermediate school, how much? And and actually, it's 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 you know it could be more than that depends on how big the square footage is that you want to build. But um, you know that's about the average twenty five to thirty million. We're talking about a fifth county high school at some point within the next ten years, Jackie. How much would you project that kind of size school to cost at that oh, point? I'd say, oh, in ten years? Yes. 
In 10 years, I'd say that school would be anywhere from 65 to 80 million. Unless things slow down drastically, I don't know how, if costs keep going like they are, it'll be, you know, it'll be out the yin yang. So, what did Spring Mills cost to construct 15 years ago or whatever that was, 12 years ago? I I thought Spring Mills was around 40 million. Um, And I could be wrong, but Mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. How important is this $25 million to the, uh, to the construction goals? If, it's, if it does not come through, does that mean we redesign the school or we just push one of them off the table? Or what, what, what's the consequence of not receiving this grant? Well, I mean, we'll, we'll go through with um, preparing for the school in that area. Um, it, just, it just would make it a little easy on, easier on us to move forward with um, our plans and, and the, the uh, CEFP uh, pro, um, goals that have been established by our committee. So it definitely helps the process. When you have $25 million extra dollars that you can use to, to build, um, that you don't have to come up with yourself. And, you know, you can work on other projects such as HVAC, um, you know, we have a lot of HVAC projects that we're working on now um, that were that were approved or, or will be approved um, this evening, actually. We're going to be voting on it, and we have a lot of needs there. Jack, it uh, does not apply to Berkeley County, but you mentioned consolidation. We've seen that in several uh, areas of the state. Uh, what is a restriction of uh, the time the child can be on a school bus in Berkeley, in, uh, in West Virginia? Well, I, from what I knew years ago, it couldn't be over uh, an hour. Uh, I'm sure um, that's about the same, if not less. Okay. Sure. Uh, some of those areas in West Virginia, you know, a child was on the school bus for much more than an hour because the county is so spread out and so rural. Um, you know, we try definitely try not to do that yeah, in Dam- this area. Damon Wright just... Have, go ahead, Jack. I'm sorry, finish. Yeah, you know, we have 246 bus runs, so we definitely try not to do that. Damon Wright just uh, said the Spring Mills was estimated to cost $53 million, but was about $45 million at the end. Yeah, I, I knew it was in the 40s. So. And if we're looking at 65 to 70, maybe $80 million for the next high school in 20, late 2020s, 2030s, geez, that's, that's 50% increase. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of funding. But, you know, the needs there, are, are you, I mean, you can see when you drive through the county, the needs there. We have to we have to have the we have to have great schools, um, and I just uh, you know our citizens three have been very good at passing our bonds. So we just continue to thank them and and hope for the best when it comes to um, bond issues. Jackie Jeff Haddox asks, uh, do you have any idea how much Jefferson County asked for? And I'll extend that to Morgan County. You have those numbers in front of you. Uh, I. I didn't realize that Jefferson County asked this they, past. They may not have. I, I was just curious if they. I can look look that up real quickly to see if they ask. Um, I don't think they they were on the list to present for when we presented the other day. Well, it was last month. It really wasn't the other day. Jackie, I don't know that they asked when, for any additional. When did they make the decision today? Well, any time now. So we're, we're, we're waiting patiently to um, hear. I, I'd say it'll be after lunch. So sometimes it's been in the morning. It's just all over the place. Okay. You never know. Very good. But they, since they have so many projects, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd say they're going to take a little longer in letting individuals know. Well, when you find and, out. Please text me and let me know, and I'd probably like to get you and Pat on the program tomorrow if you're available once you find out what you what you receive. Um, yeah, I'll I'll let you know just as soon as I can, or Mr. Stevens will for sure. Okay. So thank you very much, Jackie. I appreciate your time today. Yeah, I just looked up real quickly. Jefferson County did not present in okay. the. Okay. Th- thanks, Round Jackie. Thank you. Right. Thank-, Thank you all. Thanks, Jack. Bye. Bye-bye. Jackie Long, Vice President of the Board of Education.